This is my Hermes Picotin in the size 18 gold on gold, meaning the color is gold uh, with gold hardware. And I believe the leather is Clement's leather. And what else? She is about two years old, I think. I got her at the end of 20 one or the beginning of 22 somewhere around there and i believe this was my second um in boutique offer from hermes so yeah she is super super special to me she's my only pico tin and i love her so much i just wanted to share with you guys some reasons why i think she is one of the best bags but also some of the cons about her too so Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Do -de -do -de -do 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 -de -do -de -do -do Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do -do. Ding ding. I would say the number one pro about her is aesthetics. She is just such a beautiful bag to carry, really understated. Um, and while it, I think the Pico Tin has gotten more popular now, I still don't think it's quite reached the point where people who are not into bags know what she is. So she's definitely more of an understated chic bag if that's what you're into. The second pro I would say is the accessibility of the bag. Because it is such a simple design, it's just a bucket, one open pocket, you can reach in and out very easily to grab your things. The next pro of the bag is feet. She has four feet at the bottom and I still have like the I know I still have the stickers on them because I haven't, I still haven't ordered the little caps to go on the, the feet to, to protect her. So I need to really get on that. And the next pro I would say is the all leather construction. Because she is all leather, she is slightly more, I think, weather friendly in terms of not going to um, patina a certain way or fade. And Having said that, I do know that there can be spots on certain types of Hermes leather because mine in particular is, my Picotin in particular is in Clemence leather. I believe that's slightly more hard wearing. Um, and yeah, I think most Picotins are made of Clemence, correct me if I'm wrong, rather than Togo. So that is another consideration. Overall, I really, really love this bag. She might be my current favorite at this moment. Um, but having said that, I do also wanna share with you guys some of the cons about this bag. So like I said, accessibility was one of the pros, but I think it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It's also one of the cons because at the same time, security, because it's an open pouch, you might feel like um, it could be a security risk depending on uh, what kind of area you're traveling through or where you live. That could be mitigated by having like a bag organizer that has like a zippy pouch in it, which I have and I use, or like having a larger pouch type thing and putting your wallet and valuables in that before putting in the bag. Those are all options, but I do want to mention the fact that it is open might be a con for some people who do not like bucket bags for that reason. Uh, another con may be that though it is a um, full leather construction, it's not finished, meaning it's not like double lined with leather or with a lining fabric. The inside is the raw leather or the suede side. So depending on your preference, that might not be it. Whereas the bottom is double lined and finished and it has a little Hermes thing in there. Um, for me, that doesn't personally bother me, but I would like to point that out. Uh, another point that could be a negative is the fact that it is made of a, well, this one in particular, I should say, maybe it's different if you get one in Epsom, which holds its structure more. It will slouch with time. So if you like a bag that has more structure, if you get a Pico tin, especially if you look on pre-love sites, you might see or notice that they tend to slouch and have that kind of like, eh, look, with time a really relaxed look which some people really love but if that's not your thing that could be a con in my case i want to preserve her for as long as possible in a structured condition i don't mind it, her relaxing with time so you guys might be going hey your bag is like super like is that fake like why is it so sturdy because i actually um store her with 
you know those Amazon like bubble wrap things like stuffed and then I have like a separate like kind of flatter piece of like bubble wrap that's like this I keep and I store her like this and then every month or two I flip her around and I store her like this so both ways this way and then this way just to keep the shape and it's worked really well for me considering I use this bag fairly often um and I've had her already for over two years. She is in amazing condition. So overall, I would say, yeah, that's the only con. Oh wait, sorry. I almost forgot the last con. The last con would be how you hold her. So I know a lot of you ladies or men out there like to have a extra strap, like a crossbody strap or even like, like a shoulder strap. This might, this bag might not be for you because the Pico tin can really only be carried kind of either on the crook of your arm or hand held unless you buy like one of those transformers or you do like that twilly hack thing where you like attach a twilly here and attach, attach a twilly here and then you can kind of crossbody her. But personally, like this might just be a me thing and don't feel like, you know, personally offended, don't if that's how you like to carry her. I really don't like that look. I like it to just look clean and like simple. So that's how I like to carry her. And yeah, those are the pros and cons of this bag. I wanna jump straight into some modeling shots. Here we go. So sorry, I am in my lounger pajamas. If there's like a stain from my daughter throwing milk at me or something, sorry. But this is what a size 18 bag looks on my frame. I'm about 162-ish centimeters, about 5'4", actually. So here we go. Generally, I like to hold this bag handheld or hook of my arm, super comfy. Love that the straps are double lined like that. So it's not like the inside, it is double sided so it feels very smooth and supple some people like to wear the pico tin with like a twilly on this side or this side i like to do that too um this is actually my favorite twilly i only have four i think twillies but this one goes with everything so yeah that is my Hermes Pico Tin review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this bag or any other bag in particular. Uh, it would really, really help me out if you guys could like this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Janet. Ding, ding. Do 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye bye.